In this video, I'm going to show you how to identify the pin assignments. And in order to do that, you had to connect the power, you connect the VGA cable, apply the VGA signal to it, and then keyboard. So you can turn it on and off to identify which one's enabled. But the power supply, we already know the supply voltage is here. And um, so basically, you just turn it on. Yeah, it's on. You just measure all this voltage from here to here. Um, we also have this pin assignment available on the website because the reason we have available because we have substitutes. So, um, just measure the voltage and actually one five volt, five volt, two point four, three point two. Okay. So when you shut off, five volts still here. So this is not enabled. This is five volts supply voltage to here. Because this, as I said, this is power, power, power supply. Oh, okay. So pin 7, uh, when it's on 3.2, now it's 0 volt. So pin 7 is enabled. So basically, we have to connect this one. Okay. Pin 1, pin 2, here, because of supply voltage. Pin 3, pin 5, negative. And uh, basically, the last one is pin 6 enabled. Okay. So we we don't have to connect the ADJ because most of this this one's using negative control. Let's strip down this one. Okay. Three five three five. Three five. You're gonna basically just solder one. All right. Before we do that, disconnect this cable. Just a second. Ah, we're gonna remove this inverter because we're gonna solder it. So we're gonna remove this. The two four really tiny screws. And okay. We're gonna peel it off. We know pin seven is enabled. So if you chase down, you can start out here, but this is really tiny pin, so I want to find a little bit bigger sound of pads. So to sound on. Positive, fuse, negative, right? This is trouble. So basically uh pin seven. Okay, so you can sound out here. Alright, so let's do it. Okay. ADJ we don't need it so we can just cut it okay so now let's start out here we'll put it around here come on from here so we're gonna start right here okay it's a bit tricky negative here See that? Just like that and put it back. Like this. So as long as the backlight lamp is not connected to the inverter, inverter is already shut off by itself. So just put it back. Four screws. Okay, tiny screws. Okay. Oh, this 
Oh, where's my clip? Okay, that's okay. Just put this one back. Just put it over there. Any problem? Right. You can put it this in. Okay. Easy. Okay. So you basically you just mount it like this. Peel off this. Or whichever the method you prefer to mount. Okay. I would just mount here. Let's try it out. Okay, connect the powers here. Keyboard here. Up the power. Let me set that second like thing. The power right here. So make sure. I can turn it on. Here you go. Make sure it can be the dot. Alright, let me show you. Whoa, I'm not sure of the angle you see and it's pretty bright. Alright, so. On this one, let me, let me set aside this one. Let's shut off. Set aside, let me get the other one because the other wall version is, I mean, same model is using a different uh, inverter board I show you at the beginning of the video so because this inverter it's using a little bit kind of a little bit tricky enable you you know the enable only 0.6 volt so it's not going to trigger that uh, MS456 on so the only way to get around this let me get a, a uh, 456 the only way to get around this you have to this uh, short out this JP2 it's right here I'm not sure you can see that JP2, you short out. After JP2 short out, you just connect, uh, you know, uh, uh, travel to this uh, drivers, and that, then the LED will turn on. But again, so as soon as you plug in the power, the LED bed light will on for this particular inverter. Thank you for watching.